This is the level 1 functional skills math paper from AQA. It's split into two parts. In the first part you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Question 1. Circle the number that is 7 less than negative 10. So you could link this to temperature or being overdraft, money. So if the bank account shows a balance of negative 10, being £10 overdraft, and then you withdraw another £7. That means the new balance will be negative £17, which is this option. Or, if temperature is negative 10 and it drops by another 7 degrees, it's going to be negative 17 degrees after. Work out 12 squared. Circle your answer. If you don't know this by heart, you can work it out. So 12 times 12, that's what squared means. The number multiplied by itself. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2. Put in 0 down, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. Adding this together, we'll get 144. Work out 36 minus 5 times 7. So we know that we need to do multiplication before we do subtraction, Bidmas rules, order of operations. So I'm going to rewrite this as 36 minus 5 times 7 is 35. So 36 take away 35 gives me 1. Complete the table to show equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. So we've got 75%, which is also 0 0.75 as a decimal. So 75%, that is 75 out of 100, which is also 3 quarters. A drawing like this might help. So 100% is the whole thing, you get 25%, then 50 then 75 So we've got now 7 tenths, which is 0 0.7, and that is 70%. It might help to think of this as money, so if you had pound sign in front, you'd have to add a zero at the end. So that is 70 pence, which is also 70%. Now we have one fifth, which is 20%. Again, if it was money, how do you write 20 pence? You'd have the zero at the end or leave it out. It means the same. Use 5 times 16 equals 80 to work out 50 times 0. 1, 6. So 5 times 16 equals 80. 50, right, so from 5 it's gone to 50. So you multiply by 10 to get to 50. So 50 is 10 times larger than 5. The answer then, as a result, will be 10 times larger. So that 80 we've got here as the answer, we need to multiply that by 10, and that would give us 800. But we're not finished yet. We also need to look at the other number. So we've got 16 here. It has gone to 0 0.16. So the number has got smaller, much smaller. In fact, a hundred times smaller. Because 16 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.16. So we've got the decimal point moving two places to the left. 
So now, what's going to happen to the answer? We have this 800 here. Now that is going to be divided by 100. It's going to get 100 times smaller. So what we're going to do, 800 divided by 100, which is 8. And we've done both parts, so the answer will be 8. Party planning. Hanifa is planning the party. Hanifa has a hall for the party. The hall is a rectangle and measures 12 metres by 9 metres. Here is a list of what she wants in the hall. DJ table, 1 metre by 2 metre rectangle. Refreshments table, 1 metre by 3 metres rectangle. Dance floor, 5 metres by 5 metres square. There must be a space of at least 1 metre round each table. On the scale diagram below, draw and label a possible plan for the hall. We've got a scale, which says the square represents a 1 by 1 metre square. So if a square like this represents a 1 by 1 metre square, this will mean that the DJ table will be 1 by 2 squares. The refreshment table will be 1 by 3 squares. Dance law 5 by 5. So if we start with the DJ table, we could have that here. So 2 by 1, DJ table. And then we've got refreshment table, 1 by 3. So if we just do it here, so we label it. We've kept one meter around each table. And then we've got the dance floor, which is five by five. And we can do that here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, you'd use a ruler when you do this on paper. So, this is the dance floor. And let's just double check. We've got the DJ table, one by two meters. Long, refreshment table, 1 by 3, dance floor, 5 by 5, and got 1 metre around each table. And we've labelled all of these, so we've completed it correctly. Here are the amounts Anifa spends on the party. DJ hire, £433. Food and drink, £278. Hall higher, £11.50 per hour. Dance low higher, £10 per square metre. The hall is hired for four hours. Show that altogether Hanifa spends £1,007. Okay, so the DJ higher, that is a fixed amount, £433. Doesn't depend on the number of hours or the space taken. So is food and drink. Then hall higher, that is £11.50 per hour. The hall is hired for four hours, so we're going to do four times 11.50, which is £46. And then we've got dance floor higher, £10 per square metre. From the previous question, the dance floor was 5 by 5 metres. 
So to work out the area, we'll do 5 times 5, which is 25. So that is 25 square meters. 25 times 10, that gives us 250. So adding now, 433 DJ hire and 278 food and drink, 46 pounds for hall hire and 250 dance floor hire. Altogether, this is 1,007 pounds. So we've shown that altogether Hanifa spends 1,007 pounds. Hanifa put £960 in a bank account one year ago. She gets 5% simple interest each year. Is there enough in the account to pay the £1,007? You must show you're working. So the rate is 5% simple interest. She put the money into the bank account one year ago. So she's only had one increment of 5%. So let's work out 5%. So 5% is 5 out of 100 of the amount, which is 960. So in the calculator, we'll do 5 divided by 100 times 960, which is 48 pounds. So if we add that to the 960 that she put into the account, we get £1,008. So is there enough in the account to pay the £1,007? Yes. Because it's £1,008, so one pound more. And this is the end of this paper.